Hello everyone, this is David. Today I thought I'd go through how to set up Legacy TE on Netplay as well as just Dolphin in general. This video is going to be comprised of two parts. Firstly, it'll cover how to quickly set up Netplay for Legacy TE so you can play with your friends. And then secondarily, how to set up Legacy TE with Dolphin more broadly and for your own testing purposes or just for personal use. So the first thing I'm going to show you is opening and just setting up TE Netplay really quickly. Now, this is not going to be an exhaustive how-to guide. I recommend reading the Netplay setup read this.txt file here or going to our Discord. There are plenty of exhaustive guides. But this will be sort of a quick and dirty tips and trick tricks refresher. So we're going to begin by opening dolphin.exe. And that will open the Dolphin build that we're using. And the first thing you do is click Config, go to Paths, on the dot 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 button next to where it says default ISO, you want to select your Brawl ISO. Now that's actually all you need to actually run the game, but there are a few other checks that I personally like to make first. When we set this up, we made it so that it could work on the lowest common denominator, so low end machines, what have you, but there are a few tweaks that I personally make when I do it, so you might find this useful for yourself also. So I generally change the OpenGL backend to Direct3D11 because that fits my computer better. I can utilize my graphics card. And then I also go to Enhancements and I change it from Native to 3 times Native so that it looks better on my screen. Now again, this might not work for your computer, but I like changing it to this because it helps show the HD textures off a bit more. So I'm done with that, so now I'm going to click Close. Now there's something else I want to show you about setting up for Netplay. You'll want to hit Tools and Start Netplay. And I like to change my name, but obviously you can change it to whatever you need to. And then set up a host game. Now this window is pretty useful for a few things. I've seen reports come in that say that they're desyncing or the person that they're connected with is desyncing. And there's generally one reason for that, and that is the SD card has been modified in some way. Now when I say SD card, I'm talking about the SD.raw virtual SD card, and there's a pretty easy way to check if you and the person you're playing with, or people you're playing with, have the same exact SD card, and that's to click this MD5 check button, and click SD card, and what it will do is it will look at the SD.raw and everybody in the room, and it will generate a hash, and if all the hashes match, um, then you should be good to go, and you shouldn't have any desyncing issues. And... Uh, Yes, so then you can start Netplay and everything should be good from there. Now I'm actually going to show you where the SD.raw is in the files. So in the event that your hash, your hash does not match another player's, or you guys can both do this basically, uh, you'll know what to do. So navigate to user in this Netplay folder, go to Wii, and here is the SD.raw file. And a best practice is to always save the .zip file that you downloaded when you initially downloaded the Netplay build, because that way you can always go to the folder, go to user, go to Wii, and extract a fresh sd.raw in case you have accidentally modified the sd.raw file. There's also one more thing when it comes to the Netplay build. For the first time since uh, we started, as of Legacy 2.5, we actually have PNG HD textures available for you to download right here. So if you'd like, you can replace the DDS ones with those, and you'll get slightly higher quality, but they do take a little bit longer to load if you have a lower end PC. So if you were to want to replace those, they're in user, load, textures, and this folder with a bunch of zeros, you'll just take the, fo the folders and files you're downloading from that, delete these and replace them. And that shouldn't affect anything related to desyncing. You should be fine there. And that's totally optional. All right, now we're finished with the Netplay section of this video. And now we're going to move on to the more general Dolphin setup. Now, the reason I like to make the distinction between the two builds or the two versions of Dolphin, I guess you could say, is Dolphin Netplay that we offer for download is meant specifically to play Netplay with your friends. But if you have your own version of Dolphin installed, like I do, like this really ancient Dolphin 5.0 version, you might want to do just some playing on your own or doing some testing if you want to customize a build really quickly. So I'll show you how to do that. The first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open your Dolphin build, go to Config, uh, make sure, just like the Netplay build, that your default ISO is the Brawl one, and that under Wii, you have Insert SD Card Checked. 
There are technically other checks you need to make, but those are the two primary ones. Uh, next, what we want to do is uh, move the files over to your sd.raw. Now to do that, you're going to need a program called WinImage, and I'm linking to that in the description below. So I'm going to assume at this point you've downloaded it and installed it. Your sd.raw on your installed version of Dolphin is located in Documents, Dolphin Emulator, Wii, and there is the sd.raw. Now assuming you have WinImage installed, all you should have to do is right click it, select Open With, make sure WinImage is selected, and even check this Always Use This App box if you'd like and click OK. This window will always come up, but that's not a problem. Just click OK. And here is your sd.raw. Now I'm going to delete what's already there to demonstrate what would happen if you opened a blank sd.raw, and it will look just like this. So what you can do at this point is take the 2.5 files in this case, or any like whatever version of legacy TE you're using, uh, highlight all of them and drag them over to this, and click yes to confirm you want to inject these files and it will begin injecting them. Basically what you're looking at here is a virtual representation of an SD card. Also the SD.raw is what it's called. So think about mirroring that as you would an actual SD card to play on your Wii. That's the way that I like to think of it. All right, so now we're finished. Now I'm gonna open up Dolphin. And I'm going to run Dolphin the usual way. The other thing you need to make sure you do is run the correct.l file because different .l files out there open different builds. For example, some open PM, some open XP, some open TE. So I have my TE one right here that I like to use. Let's see if it works. Yep, looks like it's working to me. Choose your character. And there we have it. Another nice tip is if you want very quick access to the sd.raw, you can, if you pin the WinImage program on your taskbar in Windows, you can right click it and pin the file up here. So if you've opened the sd.raw recently, it'll appear in your recent list, and you can just click this little pin icon and it'll be there for really quick access if you need to quickly modify it in the future. So there you have it, some legacy TE Dolphin related tips, including how to quickly set up NetPlay for whenever the new version comes out. Thanks again everyone for watching, and I'll catch you guys again later.